Hi everyone, this is Rob and this is a tutorial on using WordPress, which is a blogging engine and an open source one at that. So it's unlike, uh, say, Blog Spirit, it's committed to keeping its uh, software free and uh, easy to download. There are two ways of using WordPress. You can have WordPress host your blog, much like Blogger would do, so that your URL would be something.wordpress.com, but you can also download the software yourself and um, install it on your server. We'll take the easy route today. Uh, so we'll just go to WordPress.com to begin and then click the big blue button on the right. Get a WordPress press blog now. You'll need to supply a username and again I recommend something familiar. Uh, perhaps your uh, university username and then a valid email address and you'll need uh, you'll need this to work because uh, WordPress will send you a, a password that you'll need. And I've actually already done that, so I'm going to return here and fill in my username and my password and hopefully log in. Okay, and that brings me to uh, the main screen here at WordPress. Um, it says welcome back on the right. and uh, the things we want to do today are uh, modify the template that I'm using, um, write a post in a particular category, password protect that post, and then add a blog roll. And hopefully this tutorial will show you how to do all of those. To um, make any changes, you need to go to my dashboard. You can see that if you wanted a quick jump into a post, you could do that. But let's go to my dashboard here and you'll see a number of options across the top here and it looks a little more complicated perhaps than um, other blogging engines but that's good it offers you a lot of features that those do not so we'll go to presentation and this is the way that you change the look and feel of your template of your blog you'll see that um, WordPress offers this huge range of interesting um, themes to choose from Um, if I wanted to change to uh, this rubric, I suppose I could do that. That one looks kind of interesting. Mm, I'll keep going here. Well, Sapphire. How about Sapphire? Let's try that for now. It tells me it's a two-column bluish theme with a professional Apple feel. I don't know. Oh, Apple Mac. Okay. And two columns just mean you've got the main text column here and then the sidebar column. If I view my site, I can see that that's been changed. Pretty easy. And it comes with a, a free search tool. That's cool. Let's go back to my dashboard. And we're going to write a post. And we'll call it my first classroom reflection and we'll say today was a real riot um, Wow okay that's not a good example so don't use that but um, you'll see over on the right here we have categories and categories are ways of organizing your posts so that if you want to keep all of your posts about your classroom in a, in a broader category called classroom reflections that's a good thing to do or if you want to keep all of your reading responses in another category, um, that's a good thing to do. So we'll add a category here called Classroom Reflections. Add that. This is really pretty slick. And we won't say that this is uncategorized, and we won't put it in the blog roll category, which WordPress gives you by default. Um, we'll put it in this new category we've created called Classroom Reflections. And then a second option here, we're going to post a password for this for this um, particular post. You can't password protect the entire blog with WordPress, but you can individually protect these posts. And um, for Ed331, this is definitely what you want to do. Post a password, the same password that we use. Um, 
although I'm changing it here for keeping it confidential, I'll use a, a different password. And then, if we're ready to go, um, we can do a number of things here. We could save it for later. Um, well, there are three options. Save and continue editing is a way of saving something as you're working on it so that you don't lose it. Save as a draft um, actually saves it. Um, and then publish. And that's what we'll choose. You can hear the clock in the background here. Okay, it tells me my post has been saved. I'm going to view the site. And you can see that it gives you a colon protected, my first classroom reflection. This post is password protected. So I'm going to view it and submit the password. Okay, and then it shows today was a real riot. And then on the right here, you can see that um, my category has been listed. Let's go back to that um, dashboard area. One last thing. Adding a blog role is really easy with WordPress. We just click Add Link. And this will be a link to my page. So the name would be Secondary Worlds. And the URL is, as we know, secondaryworlds.com. Um, Rob's fascinating blog is the description. You don't have to add a description. Then we hit Add Link. Tells me my link has been added. Okay, then if I go up here to manage blog role, um, I'm going to edit, oh it's in the category of blog role already, that does that by default. I, s I suppose I could put it in a different um, category if I wanted to, but we'll just leave it there. And if I go back to my site, you should see now um, under blog role on the right, Secondary Worlds, which takes you to my blog. That's fast, um, and there are tons more things that you can do with WordPress, but this is kind of an emergency tutorial um, on a Sunday morning. So we'll see you next time.